Welcome back to the charismatic voice, mateys. I've had this one in the brig for a while, and as I'm re-watching the entire Pirates of the Caribbean series, I feel that now is the perfect moment to come about and listen to Home Free's Sea Shanty Medley. Heave ho! There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew harder, bowed it down below, my bully boys blow. <gasps> Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. She'd not been two weeks from shore when down on her... I really love that we start off with this... Um this percussive entrance. And also Adam Chance's voice has got so much like lean focus on the sound. It has a ton of clarity, but then you have just a lot of rhythmic integrity at the same time. I really, I dig it. And then of course, I loved it, loved it when they all got in together. We're gonna go back to the beginning. <laughs> There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew harder, bowed it down below, my bully boys blow. <gasps> Soon may <laughs> the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. She <laughs> I, I love <laughs> that Adam Rupp has, like, appropriate um, accessories. <laughs> um, also, I believe that this was created during, I think it was early 2021 lockdown times. I think it's really clever what I'm seeing so far and how they put together the video. It's kind of neat. Okay, back again. There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew harder, bowed it down below, my bully boys blow. <gasps> Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. She'd not been two weeks from shore when down on her right well bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take that whale in tow. Oh my gosh, I I love the editing of this. It's so cool. They've done so much while being confined. Oh my gosh. Like this is this is really, really cool. I'm curious who did the editing on this. Man, call out to that person because um it's very, very clever. <laughs> We're going to go back one more time to the beginning. Whoa. There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Billy O.T. I even like the way they recorded that percussion. Below, my bully boys blow. <gasps> Soon oh. may the wellermen oh, come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. She'd not been two weeks from shore when down on her right well bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take that whale in tow. Soon. <laughs> I, just love, I loved that picture of Rob going, Whoa. right. Also, Tim's voice sounds incredible on the bass line of this. I love, uh, he has such a, like a thick sound, but also airy. It's um, it's fluffy yet pointy. Like it's got so many amazing aspects of a bass voice, and it fills out this lower end brilliantly. Oh, okay, back somewhere. <laughs> Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is. So listen to the way that they're being really specific about how they close to ends and ends. It's extremely deliberate and you don't want one person hanging out on a vowel while everybody else's mouth is closed to a nasal consonant. It's a very, very different sound. Um, so even though you might think like, oh, it's just like all singing together, like we kind of try and match each other. Think about the fact that these guys are also recording in different locations, right? This is this is problematic. So you have to get really super specific about when you're going to close the consonants and when you're going to leave your mouth open. Out it down below, my bully boys blow. <gasps> Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. Huh. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. 
She'd not been two weeks from shore when down on her right well bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take that whale in tow. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Tim's bass on that is just so rumbly. Wow. <sighs> That's a really good bass line. Um, I'm going to go back a little bit again. Um, I'm wondering now if that the sound of that consistent beating is something that Adam Rupp has made um, using the beatboxing apparatus or if this is actually this pounding on the back of it looks like bound back of guitar that Adam Chance is doing I'm not sure it might be layered even but now I'm starting to think because I saw Adam Rupp doing it with his mouth before or in one of the videos I was like oh maybe it's actually him it definitely sounds layered with two things when the tongue is done we'll take our leave and go I think it's hilarious the different kinds of scallywags that we've got going on and their pirate attitudes, right? You know, I think all of these guys feel like new pirates to me. Um, except for maybe Tim. There's something very Jack Sparrow about Tim's costume here. Um, but we're trying to embrace it. <laughs> I love the way that Austin <laughs> feels kind of dangerous, right? I love it. Um, but then again, I also think that Adam Rupp looks like he just had a lot of random pirate gear laying around his house. Like he probably embraces piratehood every day, so maybe he's not such a scallywag. But anyhow, uh, each of them has a very different pirate personality, and that's really fun. I think that. It's really fun to see how people's inner pirates come out. <laughs> also, I like this transition. What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. So I recently heard Rob and Austin doing Nessun Dorma. It was so cool to see them tackle an operatic thing together. And I guess Rob had a lot of classical training early on. And it does sound like he's always had like a little more body in his sound. There's like a little more, and it's like a little more dome, a little more space back there. But then every now and then he just like goes into this crazy high lean tenor belt where you go, that's totally the other end. It's just amazing. There's something that feels slightly hoity-toity in his pirate uh, impression that makes me think like, oh, where was this influenced by? You with a drunken sailor early in the morning. Early in the morning. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until... Really, really interesting how they doubled his voice in there. Um... I feel like you get more of a full chorus effect once we move off of this frame. What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? So that's just a, just a single one right now. And there you have a double. More chorusy. <laughs> We got, we got really cool colors that came into play. Again, like shout out to whoever did this editing. It's super duper awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna go back a little bit again. Oh man, I'm having so much fun watching the editing. Sometimes these little tiny details are escaping me because I, I feel that the details in the editing are 
I just, what they did with so little available is extremely impressive. She's sober, lying in the morning. Lying. Way hey, up she rises, way hey, hey, up she rises, way hey, hey, up she rises, or lie in the morning. Her lie. Oh, the wind was foul and the sea ran high. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. She shipped it green and... <laughs> Is this a breakup sea shanty? I haven't heard this one before. Leave her? Johnny, leave her? <laughs> oh, the wind was foul and the sea ran high. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. She shipped it green and none went by. And it's time for us to leave her. How many props does Adam Rupp have at home? I, we've got a skull. I know I saw a rum thing. I saw a... Uh, tankard at one point all right <laughs> amazing amazing also it's really cool how he's like playing it sounds with almost like different snare sounds in here and was foul and the sea ran high leave her johnny leave her there's like a, a roll in there too with the snare and none went by and it's time for us oh, that's to cool leave her. fascinated by like the different different kinds of colorations that Adam Rep was able to get into that percussion line and it's you know as somebody who's definitely a beatboxing newbie uh I have I'm like really fascinated by how lip tension leads to certain sounds and how that mimics tension that can be found in drums or also uh just the way you sort of shape your entire vocal cavity, how that can be similar to like a drum cavity, how this all affects overall pitch centers of vocal percussion that doesn't have anything to do with the pitch being created in your larynx, but rather is about shaping different kinds of air edges in a lot of ways. It's just really, really cool. And he's so specific in these like little tiny details that are different in there. I dig it. Oh man, Austin, your eyes are nuts. And I love it. For the voyage is long <laughs> and the winds don't blow and it's time for us to leave her. Cape Cod ship, they got no sails. Haul away, haul away. They'd all blown off in the northeast gales and we're bound away for Australia. I like the way that they went into essentially parallel octaves right here. The thick harmonies are something I was starting to get used to in the sound. They're delightful, but we become not as appreciative of them when we hear them all the time. So we went back to this parallel octaves and then we could go back to the harmonies and be wowed again. The Northeast gales and we're bound away for Australia. We'll get to that percussion line. Um, when I come back to Austin's line here, I just, he's got so much twang in his sound. Like, <laughs> it's clear you got a bunch of country, <laughs> country in those roots. There's so much twang though, and it, it works so well for that lean, high tenor sound that they're looking for. It's really cool actually hearing him tune up with Rob. I just, I keep thinking about that and how cool that was. Um, but I like that. Featuring him as a soloist now, again, it refreshed it. It's hard when you've got 
just voices that you're working with. Voices have a huge array of sound, but they're not gonna have as much access to sound as this entire orchestra will or a symphonic metal band. <laughs> um, they're gonna have access to a lot of sound still. And when you have a really creative group like Home Free, that's gonna be a lot more access to different sounds than you would expect most vocalists to have, but it's still limited. So you have to find really cool ways to keep that fresh, uh, switch it around, draw attention to other things. And I feel that this was a clever choice to bring Austin's voice into center focus at this point. Uh, here? Anna. It's so cool. I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out how to make that sound later. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go look at his face. Santiana, heave her up and away we'll go. Oh, they're almost like casting nets the way he's doing this like hand thing. Santiana, heave her up and Wait, is that another cup? Of Mexico, well, heave her up and away we'll go away. Uh, that, is, that is yet another pirate cup that Adam has in his possession. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, I can't get over the cups. Um, <laughs> the, there was this really cool sound that came in that was the sound of the sea. It was like a sea wave. That was really cool. Okay. Um, also, just a shout out to their vowels. I love their vowel matching all together. It sounds really cool. <laughs> you hear that sea? The sea swell? This combo of of Rob and Austin together, together, <laughs> together. Uh, it's just their voices so perfectly complement each other. Go along the plains of Mexico. Santiana fought for gold away. Santiana around Cape Horn through the ice and snow. Was that a little growl in there? That around? Was that what happened? Santiana. Oh, it's an R. So there's like a little pirate on the, the front that R. Blimey, they've done such an awesome thing with the spatialization where the C swells sound like they're coming in one side and then coming in the other side. It's like you're actually on a beach. Let me get the, I, I think that's so cool. I think it's so, so cool. <laughs> I love the fall up on the C swells too. It's like the perfect C swell sound. Oh, 
Okay, I have to go back. That was so cool. The way that they were switching and taking the color out of it as it was going. I, man. And I wish I had seen this when it first came out. Like, there were so many different ways that artists brought out their creativity while we were in lockdown, right? But the editing of this and what they've done is just impressive. <sighs> Leave her up and away will go. Shiver me timbers and plunder me heart. I enjoyed this so much. I love how that kind of bottled creativity can create something that is so awesome. I also love the way that they've put tons of details together to have a uniform sound when they need it, but then feature different members as solos when they need to be featured. And then add to that that Adam Rupp's entire uh, drinking collection was hilarious and awesome. And almost as good as all of the incredible sounds he was making. I'm going to have to go figure some of those out because they were fun. And he's just so nerdy. It's great. Anyhow, uh, if you want to see some more analysis of Home Free, I've done quite a few videos on them. You can check out this playlist over here. And may you fall more in love with music every day.